Good evening, guys. This is Tina. See you again. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you the power of uh, V Resolver. And then, uh, since in all the previous video in this Spring MVC playlist, we are using the GSP. And suppose in the future, if you want using Time Leaf, how to config and uh, for our application support for Time Leaf. But I'm not gonna go deep with the time leaf. Probably I'm gonna have another separate playlist which is just for learning time leaf, uh, this template, okay? Um, <clears throat> I already have my project set up already. Okay, and let me show you we have so far. In the palm.xml, I just have a Spring MVC dependency. And in the web.xml, uh, just to configure for the dispatcher servlet. And uh, in the Spring MVC conversion, I just have component scan and MVC annotation driven. <coughs> and then in our controller, which is a very simple controller, uh, just have one request mapping method. method. This one, I didn't use in view resolver now, okay? I just returned the actual location of the GSP page. And also, I have a model attribute here. Uh, this is a key and this is a value. So before actually uh, in return the JSP page, you're gonna have an attribute project name in the request scope, right? Because of the is method here. And uh, in my index JSP, I just uh, display the attribute in the request scope and have some hard coded text here. When we run, you will see this. This is the attribute in the scope, right? And uh, this is a hard-coded text. Nothing very difficult here. If you don't understand what I'm talking about now, you should uh, go to my very beginning, the videos and uh, talking about Spring MVC, okay? So the problem comes because here you have a hard-coded value, which is uh, index GSP and with the location. And now, they, now your project, want to make a change, don't want to use GSP, you want to have a time leaf, which means uh, we here in a project, we have a time leaf folder. And in a time leaf folder, you have a index.html, okay? Oh, sorry, you have two index here, delete, and uh, create one more time using index, okay? And uh, here is your home page and uh, I was using exactly the same thing this piece and uh, to display the project name you cannot do that this way you have to using th uh, the now standard attribute text equals this one and uh, to prevent pass the warning you have to add something here for the namespace X and our namespace time leaf equals HTTP www.thyme.org. Okay, this is a temp how the time leaf the template works. We don't care about this one. The problem is suppose now I don't want to use GSP, I want to use time leaf. Then you have to change every control method and make sure here is uh, time leaf, right? And here is index HTML, which is uh, really not friendly. Probably here you just change uh, one method. But when your project is very big, you probably will change thousands or hundreds of the page, which is really, really not friendly. And uh, the solution we had now, yes, we have the view resolver. So let me using the GSP first, okay? In the GSP, you can configure for a view resolver, which is internal resource view resolver, right? And then you have a property, which is a prefix first. And prefix will go to the package, which is a web inf uh, GSP, right? And then you have another property for the suffix. And the value here is uh, index. Oh, sorry, sorry, not a GSP. 
And in your controller, you don't re return the actual location of the GSP page. What you return is the logical name. Okay, if I run now, it will still bring the GSP page, right? Because I only has a view resolver to resolve the GSP page. Deploy it successfully, go to here and enter. You will see exactly the same page, but now on top of this infrastructure, if now you want to use in time leaf, do you need to change the controller? No, there's no need because this is a logical name. You just make sure the time leaf page name is the same as your previous GSP pages name. Then nothing changes in any controller. The only change you have to do is just to make sure you are have you have the time leaf view resolver instead of using internal resource view resolver, right? Uh, first thing, suppose you want to support it for time leaf, you have to add dependency, okay? Add the dependency, which is uh, time leaf, okay? Come spring file, but it comes out. Then come out. Let me try one more time. Time leaf, yes, this is on spring file. So, come on. Let's do one more time, okay? Time, okay, spring five goes away. H O M E L E A. Okay, time leaf, and this is the version, okay? And why is here is a five? Because you are using spring framework, it's five. If here you use spring framework, it's a four. Here you should be using time leaf, spring four, okay? After you add the dependency, the only thing you need to do is uh, left is uh, create config for the time leaf view resolver. Uh, time leaf uh, view resolver is a little bit completed when you config, okay? And the time leaf is uh, the integration um, with the time leaf integration. What's the integrate? Time leaf into the Spring project is the integration part is not maintained by the Spring. It's actually maintained on time leaf. Okay, so time leaf maintain how time leaf this template will be integrated with the Spring. Like a free marker velocity, uh, the Spring will be in charge of uh, the integration part. But time leaf is a little bit different. You have to create three bin. The first one will be called a template uh, resource uh, or resolver, okay? Or uh, template.springfile.template resolver.spring resource resolver. You can give a ID which is called a template resolver, okay? You can give this one. And then here you can specify property for the prefix and the suffix. Okay, value is same thing. Okay, web inf thymelef. Okay, the time leaf. Next one, you can specify property which is suffix and the value is dot html. Okay, and uh, since you have resolver, and because uh, uh, time leaf, the template engine needs to have a resolver. And next one is you have, have an admin, which is ID is called a template engine. And the value is org dot time leaf dot spring five dot spring template engine, okay? Which is a convert which is process, or oh, this one should be class, sorry. This one is used to process your dynamic content inside the time leaf, okay? And next one goes back here. We have one property, which is called template resolver. And uh, here you are using this one. Okay. And last one is a bin for actual template uh, resolver, okay? Time leaf resolver. Oh, uh, time leaf dot spring file dot view. It should be inside view dot time leaf view resolver, yes. 
And in this one, you can specify order, you can specify the template engine, you have to specify and the uh, template engine. Okay. And we have config everything, but you're gonna see a problem, okay? If you config like this, let me show you. When I run, we deploy. No changes in the controller. Okay, just do the configuration, add the uh, time leaf template, and add the property dependency. Okay, deploy it successfully. And it goes back to a demo. You will see this error message. And it says, cannot convert value of string type to require the I template resolver type. The reason for that is when you use the value, it's going to be the string, okay? But here, when I using template resolver, we are actually, this one means, using this one, right? You can, it means this one is referred to this bin, right? You cannot use in value. You have to use in reference. Because it's not a string value, it should be reference to another object. Same thing for this one. It's not a value template engine. It should be reference to this object. Reference. Okay. Be careful because we always type a value here. And this too has to be reference. And we deploy. Okay, cannot open. Okay, so when you see this one, you you are not. I have something missing here. Missing a slash, right? Yeah, missing a slash. Here should have a slash. Okay, because it's in time leaf folder index by HTML. Did I say GSP demo? Oh, I see. This one should be using time leaf demo. Okay, let me run one more time, okay? Otherwise, you probably think uh, we still render the GSP. This one, time leaf, because I just copied it from here. Forgot to change this one. Okay, close and return. You will see this one is uh, resolving the time leaf template. So that's it for this video. And we talk about what's a, why do we need to using view resolver? Because uh, if you want to switch, okay, for different views, uh, if you hard coded the location and the view in the controller, you have to change every, for every method if you want to switch the view. But by doing this way, you can easily plug in any kind of uh, the view, like a free marker, velocity, time, uh, time leaf, without changing any code in the controller, right? This is save you lots of time. And uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you, suppose you have a project and which you want to support GSP and a time leaf at the same time how to do the configuration, okay? That's it for this video, and uh, if you are interested in um, the next videos, please keep uh, watch, okay? And uh, see you, bye-bye.